Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's bird video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 14 days for today's bird video. Day 10 will take us to the 19th of November. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Associate Affairs and ECM ensembles. Maybe much around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that gets us into the first half of December. I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video we say was our 6M UK weather forecast. And we've also released the detailed European outlook. Please check out those two videos if you'd like to. That, like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. Right, we're going to start off central temperature. The CET has now ticked down a little bit more. We're sitting now at uh, 9 degrees, 9.0. That's 2.6 degrees above the 61 to 1990 average. That is provisional to yesterday to the 8th. I reckon that's going to be going sort of mid 8th, probably, maybe to about 8.5. Um, by the time we get into the early part of next week, it may probably steady off, may even rise and get a little bit milder for a while through the early part of next week. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for Bristol. Starting off below average of the upper air temperatures at the moment, they are going to pick up, as I say, through the early part of next week. It's associated with low pressure mode, so that will bring increasing amounts of rain. Then dropping again for a while later next week, becoming... Uh, cooler and then after that probably going a bit above average uh, to be honest as we go in go through the third week and into the last week of November. Precipitation wise looks unsettled as well so uh, we've got showery bursts to come over the next couple of days, drier day on Saturday and then lots of wet weather on the way as we go from Sunday through uh, next week. Pretty big precipitation spikes, to be honest, right way to the very end of it. So, um, you know, we have to get a dry down Saturday, but after that, it looks like we're uh, back under the caution again um, with, uh, with low pressure and whatnot back in from off the Atlantic. Temperature anomaly is from the 9th to 17th of November. going to be a little bit above average for England and Wales. Near north to a little bit below for Scotland. It's not a particularly big deviation. Uh, large portions of uh, Scandinavia and uh, Nordic regions, you know, looking quite cold, by the way. Uh, precipitation anomalies from the 9th to 17th of November. Wetter than average in the south and southwest. Near north to a little bit on the drier side, actually, uh, further north. Latest wind from Matt from Earth, nullschool.net shows, but low pressure is in control again, sitting to the west, northwest of the country, and bringing in these uh, brisk and showery westerly winds. Okay, let's start going through the chart data. Then, Miss Sam, latest UK bet, your road is looking for midnight on Sunday. So, low pressure trying to get in then, but actually, this ridge to the north is just bending it off and it giving us quite a cold night. But by the time you get through the midnight Monday, low pressure has broken through. I'll be taking outbreaks of rain with it. And then through next week, it looks very unsettled. Low pressure back in the ascendancy, bringing further spells of rain and possibly heavy showers in between. Icon, again, with that ridge uh, building down from the north for the weekend, the first part of the weekend anyway, fending off these areas of low pressure in the Atlantic. It may take a while to push through, a little bit slower pushing them through um, than on the UK Met, but eventually the low pressure does break through, so for the early part of next week, increasingly unsettled, and a very significant low there uh, by the middle of next week, that's Wednesday, uh, midnight Wednesday 15th low pressure, if that came off it would be probably yet another named storm that, so <laughs> uh, probably properly back uh, back under the, um, uh, the Atlantic influence next week, if that's right, and uh, again we see that deep low sitting over the top of the country as we go to uh, this time next week, as far as we go, if I can't get to the 16th of November, Thursday next week. And uh, again, very unsettled with that. Right, the GFS uh, midnight run. Again, bringing that low pressure in from off the Atlantic on Sunday. Midnight Sunday, we're trying to, but the ridge of the North East is, is trying to hold it off. But eventually, no pressure does break through. Well, that looks like quite a significant low Monday night to Tuesday, bringing heavy rain gales into the north. Further low pressure driving through the country through uh, next week as well. Quite cool as well with winds on a northwest southeast alignment. So unsettled and chilly through the second half of next week after a uh, milder start. Heading up toward day 10, high pressure begins to try and establish around uh, France and uh, Spain, Portugal. That begins to pull wind up from the southwest. So it starts to turn a little bit milder there 
as we get to our days 9 and 10. Um, and then beyond that into the extended range where we've got these long fetch southwest winds. So it looks quite mild, but also looks unsettled with uh, low pressure continuing to uh, push in from off the Atlantic. The GFS 6 there. Again, much of a much is for Sunday. The ridge building to the north. The block is trying to fend off below. Uh, but he's not strong enough to do so. So eventually, through the open up next week, low pressure breakthrough brings heavy rain and strong winds with it as well. Um, not going for that storm that the uh, icon model in particular was going for, but looking very unsettled through next week again with uh, further spells of rain to come with those areas of low pressure. Again, around day 9, 10, we start to drag up something a little bit milder from the uh, southwest as a ridge begins to build down towards France, Spain and Portugal. That doesn't last for long, though, and the low pressure then starts uh, dropping in from the north with higher pressure building out to the northwest, which is turning uh, colder here as we go through the third week of November. Bit of a mid-Atlantic ridge trying to push up towards Greenland-type pattern there uh, in the very extended range. Turns the wind into the north. That would be really quite cold air that's coming southwards, I think. There's so a bit of a cold snap through the third week of November with that above finishing up pulling back in a southwesterly uh, type flow and uh, turning milder. But a definite cold snap there through the third week of November with GFS 6 step. Long way out there. If you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, subscribe. Make sure to everybody for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to share friends about Gareth Weather. Gareth Weather. Thank you so very much, everybody, for uh, doing that. Okay, GM again with uh, low pressure trying to get in from off the Atlantic Ocean. On a Sunday, eventually that breaks through during the open up next week. Turn unsettled with spells of rain coming in with these areas of low pressure. Again, quite a vigorous low around the middle of next week. There, again, that has the potential again to be uh, a name storm. So, uh, GM and Icon both going for uh, a vigorous low from Tuesday into Wednesday. Then we keep the wind in from the west as we go. Through the remainder of next week, before the weekend, the 18th, 19th of November, starts to pull up some southwest. This in turn is quite mild, but still is unsettled. Still is involved in low pressure rain, particularly toward the north and the west, I think, with the GEM. And then we've got the East GM at WF once more, with the low pressure struggling to get in on Saturday night, but eventually breaking through during Sunday, being wet weather with it through next week increasingly unsettled not whipping that low pressure up quite as much as um the gm and uh icon are doing there but bring in a low pressure midnight on wednesday so you need to keep an eye on this i think look how it develops by time get to midnight thursday sitting uh well heading towards denmark sitting in the north sea um no we, i think we need to keep an eye on things for the middle of next week it's not impossible we might get another dang storm you know here through the uh middle of next week and have another bout of severe gales once that low gets out of the way we go into a, a cooler or even a colder northwesterly and a high pressure tries to ridge in from off the atlantic we finish up looking like that still with these west southwesterlies continuing this is a precipitation forecast based on that uh, East Chev Run from Tometio.com. So showers, some of them a little bit wintry over the next couple of days in northern and western regions. A lot of dry weather though over in the east. So we, get a, we do get a dry day, just about, um, on uh, Saturday. Uh, so yes, we could have a, a complete dry day on Saturday. But you'll notice that there is rain threatening the far southwest. So whether we quite pull off a dry day on Saturday, I don't know. But on Sunday, we start to bring wet weather in from off the Atlantic then. And uh, that sets us up for, as we already seen, a very unsettled week next week with plenty of low pressure coming down. That's that low midweek. Does look quite vigorous there. It is bringing heavy rain and some pretty strong winds wrapped around it. I can't and the GM develop that even more and make it even more vigorous. But uh, again, next week it could be one to watch that load develops further as it moves off into the uh, North Sea. And then we're left with but showers of a winch on those northwesterly winds into northern the western regions, even down into like Wales, West Midlands. There's a little bit of green showing up there. Um, uh, late next week, so uh, again, that uh, just suggesting that shower could go a little bit wintry. Um, another area of uh, precipitation, rain, sleep, maybe a little bit of snow mixed in, coming south was there as well at the end of uh, next week. Oh, quite interesting, isn't it? And then by day 10, though, it's only milder and uh, bringing another batch of heavy rain back in from off the Atlantic. That gets us to the 19th of November. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. 
getting us to the 19th of November. 20 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure out to west. High pressure is to the southwest. So dry in the south, but also looking quite mild there. We've got 14 again with low pressure to the north. High pressure is over France. Wind coming up from the southwest. We've got 10 building a ridge through the west of Europe and building it north. What's that turning drier? Uh, and possibly a bit colder as well with that one. And we've got seven with high pressure sitting to the south. Low pressure is away to the northwest. Winds will be coming up from the southwest. It looks like day 10 should be relatively mild on most of those options. Uh, the driest weather is in the south. In two weeks' time, where are we going? Okay. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Also, we could be going back to low pressure then. So uh, this gets to 24th of uh, November. 14 members of the ECM on some of them have deep low pressure. Uh, in the Atlantic, so again, we, we're back under the onslaught once more with that. 11, deep low pressure over to the east of the country, so that very unsettled, a little bit cooler. Uh, 10, have high pressure out to uh, west and northwest, so that's dry, a drier option. And a little bit colder as well, potentially, with that. Winds coming in from the northeast. We've got 9 here with some high pressure blocking around Greenland, but also high pressure over France. So that's very contrasting, but probably too much too. Uh, ridges. We've got low pressure in control. Now we've got seven with a Scandinavian high and uh, low pressure to our south. That will bring the wind in from an easterly direction. So uh, obviously that would be quite cold. Uh, South SV2, finally, these are uh, 500 mm of our high times breaking down to week periods. The first week period takes us from the 9th through to the 15th of November, but next week will be very unsettled with low pressure from the Atlantic into Western Europe. Week two, also looking unsettled. It's the 16th, 22nd of November. Low pressure out to our west. We've got high pressure down towards Spain. And uh, we've also got high pressure towards Scandinavia as well. But uh, we, we, despite all that, we remain like unsettled with that with winds in from the west and from southwest. Week three is going to be the 23rd to 29th of November. Low pressure gains away to the northwest. High pressure building up from uh, the southwest. So that's turned dry in the south, but, uh, but still unsettled in the north, but would be mild. And then finally, week four is going to be the 30th November, 6th of December. Uh, this will potentially a very mild start to December with low pressure out to the northwest. High pressure is across the continent and the upshot with that is that we continue to bring the winds up from a southwesterly direction. So, very unsettled. So, the next couple of weeks probably keep it unsettled to months end into December. The only difference is that uh, there are signs that we've got more of a southwesterly influence setting up by the end of November into December, which is, of course, a milder wind direction. But we shall see about that. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. We can show you much everybody can do that. Why not drop a comment and uh, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gabs Weather Vids. Gabs Weather Vids. Gabs Weather Vids. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that for us. Put your teeth in, Gab. Put your teeth in. Um, thank you so much, everybody. We only need to put on around 40 subscribers, probably a little bit less than that, maybe 37, 38, get ourselves to 17.2k, so if you could give us a sub, and help get us 17,200 subscribers, that'd be amazing, tell your friends and family to subscribe as well uh, and uh, we thank you so much everybody for doing that, right, just tell us what's happening on the channel tomorrow, we're going to have the uh, 6 UK weather forecast, we've got Jamie Friday coming up tomorrow as well as a 10 to 14 day, uh, and well, if that wasn't up, we'll be live at uh, 10 30, we'll be live streaming the pub run, so uh, I shall see you tomorrow uh, for that one if you're around the channel uh, for this video though and for today's video that's all for now and thanks so much